Alright, this week we opened up the 20th anniversary edition of the Clone Scout Walker, which celebrates the 20th anniversary of the LEGO Star Wars theme. Now this was the set I was probably the least excited for, just because Revenge of the Sith isn't my favorite of the Star Wars movies. The Battle of Kashyyyk wasn't an exciting set piece, it just, I don't know, it didn't really appeal to me. I didn't buy it into sets when they came out, when Episode 3 was in theaters. So it was just kind of, no, I'll get it to complete the set, kind of. Now when I built it, I was actually pleasantly surprised how much I ended up like. It's got some nice little layering with all the pieces around inside of it. The clone is pretty cool. I like the color scheme with the green and the brown. Works well when you're fighting in the forest alongside the Wookiees. There's also only two stickers in the entire set, which is a vast improvement over the previous two sets, which had a large number of stickers. And then really my only complaint with the set is this blue pins that hold these two pieces together. I don't know why LEGO hasn't done them in black or dark gray or gray, just something that's not as distracting. You'd think by now they would have fixed that problem, but they haven't. Other than that, it's a nifty little model and I really like it. You also get a Wookiee Warrior, not Chewbacca, which I thought was for the longest time until I actually bought the set and looked at it closer. You also get a nifty little barricade with a turn on it. And then for the separatist side of things, you get a battle droid, and then also this nifty little spider droid that's got a ton of movability to it. The legs, the gun, the eyes, the antenna on the back. Lots of cool stuff you can do with it. And then as with all these sets, you get a special commemorative figure, this one being Darth Vader, who looks like exactly as he did 20 years ago, except for no chrome lightsaber handle, unfortunately. And then he's got the printing on the back. And he's also got his little stand, that hooks up to the others and you can get a nice little display. So if you're a big fan of episode 3 and especially like the Battle of Kashyyyk, then this set isn't a bad battle pack. It's a fair price. You get good guys, bad guys, you get a nice little vehicle, and I think the biggest draw is you don't get like a main character that you're just going to get a bunch of that you just don't really have a use for for a big battle scene. So if all that sounds appealing, then I think this set is definitely a buy if you haven't found it already. It's probably going to start getting marked down pretty soon, which is what I'm still hoping to come across for the Slave 1. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to do it yet. However, not the next video, but the video after, I will be opening and building the Snowspeeder 20th Anniversary Edition set, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the next video is going to be an action figure unboxing, so until then, stay safe, happy hunting.